Welcome to case of the day. Um, as I had said yesterday, it's an experiment. I'm trying to see if I can make two to three minute snippets um, of uh, cases that I've seen during the day. Um, so this is axial versus peripheral distribution in interstitial lung diseases. There was a query from a student in the REF classroom to about what is meant by axial orientation of an ILD or axial distribution. So today I read these two cases, the one on, both were opinions, scans done elsewhere. Uh, on the left is a 69 year old with hypersensitivity pneumonitis, on the right is an 87 year old with a known UIP pattern on, a, on, on follow up. And I've just brought them together. So if you see the reticular opacities here, they go from the hilum to the periphery. Look at it here. Whereas here, these reticular opacities in the upper lobes are peripheral and, and subplural. As we go towards the hyla, you can again see the axial distribution, whereas here it's all subplural, peripheral. The further we go, again, you have an axial distribution uh, and subplural peripheral. And as we go further down, you can as understand the axial distribution. Now, in fact, here we see a bit of a hexagonal pattern. There's a triple density sign on the left. I mean, those are the other findings of hypersensitivity pneumonitis. But this is the fundamental difference between an axial or central distribution and a peripheral subplural distribution pattern. Uh, the coronals don't show it really well, though the axial distribution is well seen, but it's tough to see the peripheral subplural, but the sagittal images are, are brilliant. So you can see here the axial distribution spanning um, the uh, anterior posterior width of the upper lobe, if you may, whereas the peripheral subplural is what you see here. So I guess if you had a combination of axial, coronal, sagittal, when you're starting out, it just becomes that much easier to appreciate this. So axial distribution is when the lesions go f from the hilum to the periphery, uh, typically implies a non-IPF form of fibrotic ILD and HP and sarcoid are the two common uh, conditions. I hope this has answered your question um, um, and I hope it helps others too. That's my WhatsApp channel and you know, let's linger on that and that's case of the day uh, today. Thank you for viewing this.